Hello everyone, today our topic is about affection. This is produced by occultation of airways, causes are suffocation, strangulation, drawing, obliteration of blood vessels. So this result in hypoxia, lack of oxygen and hypercapnia, increased partial pressure of carbon dioxide, types journal affection, local affection, stages. Stage of excreted breathing, stage of convulsion, stage of exhaustion, and the collapse. Stage of excreted breathing lasts for uh, about one to two minutes. It's due to powerful stimulation of respiratory center by carbon dioxide. Increased depth of respiration, increased ventilation, increased respiratory rate, dyspnea, and cyanosis occur. Stages of convulsions last for about one minute. It is due to the spread of impulse from respiratory center to other parts of CNS. During this period, convulsion occur, increased HR, tachycardia, increased cardiac output, increased sympathetic activity, increased vasoconstriction, increased BP. Stages of the exhaustion and collapse lasts for about five minutes due to lack of oxygen, depression of respiratory center, and respiration become gasping, deep respiration with weed mouth pupil weedly dilated pulse become feeble reflexes are abolished semi-consciousness unconsciousness common death treatment by artificial respiration subject may be able to survive but care has to be taken for hypoxic damage of myocardium and increased epinephrine and norepinephrine secretion may cause ventricular fibrillation due to multiple ectopic foci Oxygen therapy in different types of hypoxia. Oxygen can be administrated by placing the patient head in a tent that contains air fortified with oxygen. Allow the patient to breathe either pure oxygen or higher concentrations of oxygen from a mask or administrating oxygen through an intranasal tube. In atmospheric hypoxia, air oxygen therapy can completely correct the depression oxygen level in the inspired gases and therefore provide 100% effective therapy. Hypoventilation hypoxia. In hypoventilation hypoxia, a person breathing 100% oxygen can move 5 times as much oxygen into alveoli with each breath. Therefore, oxygen therapy can be extremely beneficial. It provides no benefit for the excess blood carbon dioxide also caused by the hypoventilation. Oxygen therapy in hypoxic caused by impaired alveolar membrane diffusion. Oxygen therapy can increase the partial oxygen in the lung alveoli from the normal value of about 100 mm of mercury to as high as 600 mm of mercury in histotoxic O2 therapy not useful. Oxygen therapy in hypoxia caused by anemia, abnormal hemoglobin, transport of oxygen, circulatory deficiency or physiological shunt. Oxygen therapy is of much less value because normal oxygen is already available in the alveoli. The problem instead is that one or more of the mechanism of transporting oxygen from the lungs to the tissue is deficient. Oxygen toxicity. 100% oxygen has been demonstrated to exert toxic effect not only in animals but also in bacteria, fungi, cultured animal cells and plants. The toxicity same is due to the production of the supraoxide onion and nine which is a free radical and has 2 O2. When 80 to 100% O2 is administrated to high human for periods for 8 hours or more, the respiratory passage become irritated, causing substernal distress, nasal congestion, sore throat and cough. O2 therapy problem in infants. Some infants treated with O2 for RDS develop a chronic condition characterized by lung system densities, bronchopulmonary dysplasia. Another complication in these infants is retinopathy of prematurity of retrolental fibrillation, the formation of opaque vascular tissue in the eyes, which can lead to the serious weevil defects.